have a long weekend, if you have, you just want to distress, you just want to tune out, you have a heartbreak, or you just want to bone somebody, you just want to like, you know what, me, I won't call you, you won't call me, I won't be the first person to do anything, just bone the guy, or bone the chick, watch this drama, you won't even be remembering to call anyone, or this anyone, or start doing typing chats that has no meaning and showing all your cards on the table that is if you're dating anyone and all of that yeah so hello everyone welcome to yet another amazing time with me my name is chacha and i'm so happy to have you here listen there's something you don't know about me and that these movies there are these dramas this genre of dramas that i really love have you guys you know is anyone really vested in watching Turkish dramas I stumbled on Turkish dramas and I think last year early last year mm -hmm, and I've not stopped watching Turkish dramas they're different from Korean movies they're different from Chinese movies they're actually different from European movies Hollywood <laughs> you really have to be a movie lover to like settle down for Turkish movies but when you actually do settle down for these Turkish movies, you find out that, you know, there's something else. So today, I'll be tentatively reviewing some Turkish dramas just to, you know, um, wet my feet there and see how much views I get, how much traction I get. And if the traction, the views are favorable and, you know, are doing great, if the videos are doing great, I look through my analytics and they are doing great, I will start reviewing Turkish dramas full time. Not like, you know, full time alongside my Nollywood, Korean, Chinese and all of that dramas that I've been reviewing all this time. So without further ado, today we'll be looking at Love for Rent. It's a Turkish drama. I think it came out in um, 2017. I think they shot this drama for like two years, three years, if I'm not mistaken. Shot this drama between 2015 and 2017. The long version, that's one thing about Turkish dramas. They have long version and you know the full episode can be like two hours plus you know but if you want the short version too you have it so love for rent the long version has 67 or 69 episodes you know and the short version subtitled in english has 202 episodes you won't know when you watch them all don't worry don't even just don't even ease or sigh when you start watching it you will love to watch it now love for rent is an hopelessly romantic drama it's not something like m and b meal sample no it's not something like silhouette it, it's it will pull you along it, it's a story of omar and daphne and omar is this rich guy he comes from a well-to-do home but he's somewhat he's really arrogant he's unfriendly he has hidden scars he's egoistic he's, he's he can be mean and nasty but also a softy he, he doesn't have friends just has you know just a few selected friends he's he's on he's not social okay but he's extremely 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 handsome and then we have Daphne Daphne is this girl who comes from the slums but not slum slums that's where they stay that's what their money could afford now you will see at the beginning of this drama she was a waitress at a highbrow restaurant and she was just a girl that was trying to make ends meet for her family never happy always you know on the war path with everyone she had a brother her grandma her sister little sister and her best friend two besties he saw and ah i forgot the other one's name now the drama this started with omar's grandfather issuing his uncle and his auntie that is his uncle's wife an ultimatum that Omar should get married, that he wants to see Omar get married. Meanwhile, Omar does not speak to his grandfather. They've not been speaking for years and years. Omar's parents are dead. His father was involved in a ghastly motor accident. His mom died from cancer. His mom was a medical doctor. She died from cancer. So Omar 
grew up with his grandfather and never liking his mom that she was not a good fit for his father so he made life difficult for his mom and he remembered every single incident and you know every single time his mom was always unhappy and depressed when his mom died you know through no fault of his grandfather and all that he transferred that animosity to his family to his grandfather and never wanted to have anything to do with his grandfather so at age 16 17 when his mother died he just went into the streets and just stayed there slept on the sidewalk and all that until he found this man supposedly found this guy who was nice to him and all of that and taught him how to you know make shoes he was the man is a shoemaker is his mentor so omar started making shoes went to school he went to he trained himself in school went to all the schools and became he was even an artist a shoe designer like he would draw the shoes and now send it in for you know um shoe production and that was how he got really rich so he was excellent his designs were top notch he went to italy to study he went to all parts of the country of the world rather sorry to study now back to the essence of this drama the essence what i'm telling you i'm laying the foundation the grandfather had given the ultimatum now we have Nechmi and neriman neriman is the wife of Omar's uncle Nechmi. Now Nechmi is just uh, the son of his grandfather, wealthy man, but you know he just enjoys having fun by himself, relaxing, doesn't like walking and all that. So now this ultimatum made them, they started looking for girls for Omar to get married, trying to hook Omar up so that their grandfather, the Petrak, would not you know take them out of the will, take away the house and all the privileges which they have you know which they are accustomed to which they've had all their lives now there was this social media chick and all of that who was into fashion influencing and all <laughs> who they hooked up with omar so they were supposed to meet at daphne's restaurant like where daphne works so when omar saw this girl he saw that she was like an airhead and then he now saw daphne and he just uh, acting as if Daphne was his girlfriend. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, Daphne. Blah, 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 blah. No, it's not what you think. And the girl sitting down there is like, what do you mean? Daphne is looking at him. You know, Daphne is, a, you know, she's a hot head. She looks like an Irish. She, you know, she has red hair. She's like, she's just, you know, she, she's, she's a little bit uncultured, you know. So she's uh, just like, what do you think? What do you mean? How can you be talking to me like that? You and who? From where? You know, and Omar just grabbed her. So they were walking out. So Omar is telling her, you know what? I'm just using you to I just wanted to use you as an excuse to leave. I don't want to and she's like, What do you why why would you use me? Against who? Because she was clueless, she didn't even know what was happening. Meanwhile, Neriman was there, okay, and she was hiding to see how that date will go. And instead, she now saw Omar grabbing Daphne and pulling her out, and she started, you know, trying to see what was happening. Now, the supposed date came out. I was you know calling him oh man oh man what is it what's going on what's going on what's happening and now oh man i had to kiss daphne you know for the first time yeah he didn't know her he just kissed her and he felt this chemistry but oh Daphne wasn't having any of it at all she gave him a resounding slap now that is how this drama started and this drama will go through so many trials between these people before they found each other and there's this thing about oh my oh my doesn't trust anyone and there's one cardinal rule for Omar. Omar is someone that does not like lies so when you lie once and he discovers that you lied that is the end between both of you Omar is never ever going to trust you he's going to keep you far away from him and you will never ever have any contact with him again so now fast forward to after the kiss and all Neriman tracked Daphne down Meanwhile, Daphne's brother took their house rent and went to, you know, he squandered the money and ran into debt. And now these money lenders are after him. They kidnapped him and they're like, you know, your brother is owing us 200,000 what, what, what their money, right? <laughs> and if you don't get it back, and she's like, can they get the money? So she, she was just confused. She didn't know what to do. She told Esau and the other um, female best friend. Esau is a male best friend. The other one is the female best friend who later on married 
Daphne's brother. Okay, so she told them they started looking for money, but where would they get that kind of money from? Until Neriman came and gave her this deal that she was supposed to make Omar fall in love with her, marry her, then later on she can just leave him. So, you know, she refused initially. But when Neriman started waving a check of over 200,000, whatever their money, you know, she got tempted and took the money. So as to upset the bills with the money lenders. Now she had to start working for Omar. Every man changed her, changed her, uh, what would I call it now? Her clothing, with everything, brought her up to speed with Omar's likes, dislikes, and all of that. And she had to go through this role playing until, you know, different scenes, until Omar fell in love with her. And that was when she fell in love with Omar. But because she was weighed down with the guilt, she couldn't just be with Omar like free. She was like looking for money to pay back Neriman because Neriman would always push it down her throat. Do this work. Where are you? Come here. Have you done this with him? Have you done that with him? Don't talk. Don't say this. You know, she would bring her down psychologically, you know, with her words and all of that. Told Daphne that Daphne was nothing, that she created the girl of Omar's dream. That the real Daphne wasn't someone that Omar would fall in love with. So all these doubts and all of that, their relationship just kept on going up, down, up, down until you know they will break up, they will make up, they will break up, they will make up. There were a lot of rivals there because hey, Omar is a good catch, and Daphne is a girl who is honest, who is outgoing, who likes expressing her thoughts, who is free, who is childlike in her in her behavior with only their flaw. Most times, a lot of people said it's because Daphne just likes to tell tell tales. She likes running away from situations, but that might be true. But the thing that struck me about this drama was that this drama was able to, you know, the audience at the beginning was still the audience at the end. There's no way you can leave. And there's this other guy that was always, you know, making my day. It was so so funny. Cora, Cora was the soul of the drama in terms of comedy, and they really gave him a lot of screen time. We have Sude, who was not, who was obsessed with Sina. Sina is the best friend of Omar and the partner of Omar to this their shoe company that they call Passionis. And you know there was a lot of intrigue, suspense, plotting. Even though it's a romantic drama, it's a drama that. I have watched so many times. I have seen it. I've tried to, you know, get over it. And I'm back again to see this drama till my kids even know, you know, all the soundtracks and all of that. You, you, even a child can watch this drama because it's that engaging. Don't forget parental guidance, okay? But it's an interesting, interesting, super interesting drama you won't want to miss. At the end of the day, when Omar got to know as they were you know walking down the aisle Daphne decided to you know bear it all to him like see this was what um, I was hired to do your, your auntie paid me to make you fall in love with me so that they will not lose their house blah 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 Oma abandoned her at the altar you see that's the kind of person that he is that is what this drama does it gives you everything the reality everything the way it was and definitely almost committed suicide like i had stopped walking they had to rush her to the hospital it took her a while to get over it meanwhile omar just disappeared up and went to italy stayed in italy you know but by the time he came back he tried to gain Daphne's love back. But I could definitely fall in love with him when all our family they were like, you know what? This guy will cancel him out of your life, out of our lives for all that he has done. Yes, granted, you, you did what you did. But then, for better, for worse, and all that, she told you the, 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 the truth. If she wanted to lie to you, she should have confidently have lied to you. But then there were external factors too of Sude, who is the child of Neriman and Nichmin. That one is a psychopath on her own, you know. And and there's another guy, he's called Tramba, who is the competition, who is the competitor of um, Omar. He kept on plotting, doing all kinds of things. And that was also a sore point for Omar. And then we have Fisket. And Fisket was someone that Omar would have dated if he had the opportunity to. So much so that he, him and the Fisket, she's a designer, a clothes, you know, a fashion designer, a clothes designer I told her definitely asked him if I wasn't in the picture would you have dated Fisket and he said yes to his to her face 
eye, eyeball to eyeball, he said it. So, you know, all those factors. Later on, you know, Fisket was Daphne's friend, you know, and Daphne confided in her, told her that they paid her to make Omar fall in love, blah, 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 blah. She didn't, she didn't tell Fisket that it was Omar. So by the time Fisket met Omar, that was when she knew that it was this Omar. And later on, she now discovered that Omar was a, it was a memory of Omar that, you know, they met each other when they were in high school and they had such a connection. So all of that, she was like, she must tell Omar this thing. And she had fallen in love with Omar and she wanted Omar for herself. And Omar was always at her beck and call until Omar had to tell her too you know that listen we are friends we've, we shared an amazing memory when we were growing up and we met once and i've looked for you all my life but listen Daphne is the love of my life i can't i won't be existing without Daphne and all of that so you would watch this drama and you would thank me for for watching this drama i'm telling you you would watch this drama and you would not regret seeing this drama i'm going to be rating this drama a 10 over 10. what it was just annoying was that the intro and the outro was just too long and you know there was some there were some scenes that would have you know not have been necessary but everything was just accounted for was specifically accounted for it's a drama that i have saved that I will go back 10 years from now to see again. That's to show you how good this drama is. I hope you see this drama. It's a drama to watch. It's a drama to binge watch on. This is a drama you have to see and I hope you see it. And come back to me in the comment section to tell me how far, how far, or does the drama enter your eye? Did it enter your eye? So tell me how far what you think about this drama when you saw this drama or as you seen this drama. Let's talk, let's just chat. Okay? I'll be looking forward to reading your comments. Till I see you next time is bye for me. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up. Up there you'll see my Korean movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, and then again my movie reviews. Thank you so very much for doing this with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.